I've got a conundrum. Let me try to solve that. Okay, good. Because I have very little runway to do this. By the time the next episode is here, mm -hmm. I will have had to have made a decision. And this is my server that I set up in December of 2020 has been running and running and running on an Ubuntu. And around December of 2020, that was 2004. Which makes total sense. Right, of course. The, the most recent long-term support release of Ubuntu available to me at that time. Sure. That's yeah. what I installed. And I kept it up to date, and I kept it up to date, and I kept it up to date, and wouldn't you know it, it's been five years. So here we are. We're at a crossroads. Yeah. I, I, I recently saw the, uh, the Ubuntu 2404 end of life, uh, announcement and they mentioned, what did they say? May 16th, something like that. It's mid May sometime. And yeah. I need close to June, probably. Yeah. Focal Fossa will reach the end of standard support in May, 2025 as a no, as also known as end of life. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to guess a couple of weeks, something like that. I've got a little bit of time. And, you know, even even after the end of life date, I mean, yeah. you could stretch it for a week. I mean, it's not internet facing, yeah. right? So it's yeah, not yeah. like it's not like uh, I have people beating down my door um, probing for vulnerabilities or anything like that. So I could yeah, stretch you, it even you, longer. Even a month. I mean, because like, let's be real. People don't necessarily update their stuff daily. Ever. Uh, I mean, that, 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 you know, that, that's just silly too, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, probably a server, you're doing that once a month or... That's about right, bi actually. Bi-weekly. So would you notice that you didn't update it like day one? You no. Know? One, right. one th uh, and actually, yeah, but, like... But uh, the it... first month after that, you're going to notice because it's not going to work anymore. So yeah. So you want to get there before that, probably. You want to get your conundrum solved. Right. Is it... Is it going to give me a message and say something like, you know, your repositories don't work anymore? Or is it is it just going to come back and say, no, no updates found or something? It'll be like a 404 error, basically. You know, oh. no, nothing found at that. Because it's a URL. It's a, it's, a, it's a web server that's serving up the repository stuff, essentially. Okay. Um, and so it's all web-based, you know, gets and whatnot. So it's going to give you like a 404, probably. File, you know, file not found or directory not found, kind of thing. Right. Okay. So, so it, at least to my nerd brain, the mm -hmm. easiest fix for this is to just upgrade to twenty two oh four. Right. Like, it just makes yep. sense. Get the newer modern one. You've got you get two additional years of runway um, if you chance it, and go to twenty four oh four. You get four more years, or well, two additional years, so we're for a total of four years yeah. of runway. And then, you know, I could just pack it in the back of my mind and never thinking about think about it again, other than, as you said, once a month, come back to it, pseudo apt update, upgrade, and, you know, yes, keep stash going. it in the corner again. <laughs> Don't think about it. I'm going to say if you do the upgrade thing um, and you, you end up wanting to go all the way to 2404, I would stop at 2204 for a little bit, just kind of, you know, take a, you know, take a look and see what the land looks like and make sure things are working the way you want them to and whatnot. So that uh, when you did eventually go on to 2404, you can make sure things were, were good. So right. I'd stop there for a minute or a month or whatever. Well, yeah. I, yeah. So, okay. So now that you say that, maybe I would, that that's, that's what I would do is probably for two months, I would go through a full, you know, pull down yeah. the 50 or 100 upgrades that you need to get over that that you've kind of accumulated over a month and then do it again right before you upgrade in a couple of months yeah. right before 2404 because yeah. you're supposed to do that anyway yeah, um that would be that's really good advice i think that's the best way it's clean it works it 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 could work for you okay so what was your your conundrum though okay it, ubuntu offers extended mm -hmm. uh, so help me with this extended Serv service Service or server? So service maintenance. Yeah. I yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So extended, whatever S stands for, maintenance, right? Extended maintenance. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this would arguably be even easier to deal mm -hmm. with because mm -hmm. you just install a key. You have, okay. So you got to sign up, 
uh, for the free Ubuntu Pro 5 machines. So everybody, anybody, yep. anybody can get five free uh, extended ESM licenses, yep. essentially, or whatever, of yes. devices. Yes, Ubuntu Pro. And that will allow you to run older, more out-of-date Ubuntus for an additional five or six years. Five? Well, I think it depends on the release, and some of them were up to 12. Um, okay. Those are going to be around for a while. Right. If you go that route. Okay, so but I, I at least get the five right with uh, mm -hmm. with twenty four oh four ESM on twenty twenty oh four on twenty oh four, I will get an additional five years, which will allow me to run until twenty twenty nine, right? Yep. Twenty twenty some twenty thirty twenty thirty actually twenty thirty. They're pretty close, I think, probably right. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, probably twenty thirty early in uh, twenty thirty. By then, surely the server will have exploded, and I would need to to have rebuilt anyway. So. <laughs> Um, that's an option. So hear me out. Okay. Th this is my conundrum though. This is, I think this I'm going to make it worse for you. Honestly, I'm going to muddy oh, the water. Oh God. Okay. All right. I'm going to tell you to both. Huh? Yeah, man. Sign up for both. Sign up for the ESM and then, you know, do the upgrade stuff because you're kind of missing out on some of the packages. Uh, okay. if you don't. Th this and, was this was actually going to be one of my one of my big questions. Like, if I stayed behind on twenty four oh four, what am I missing? Okay, so all right, keep going. Well, keep tell me. So the other thing that you're missing out on that I think is kind of cool. Um, not everything applies, but uh, live patch, and so that's basically hmm. the kernel stuff gets updated, and you don't always have to reboot depending on what's going on there. So interesting. It's nice to have your kernel update happen and uh you know you're only doing the monthly updates right so those things are going to take place probably in the background for you and uh you won't get you'll you'll still have to reboot for some stuff um but for the most part a lot of a lot of patches will happen and uh you'll you'll be less vulnerable interesting okay so cuz i know the security side of me says do both yeah Okay, well, that's not muddying the waters. That's 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 an answer. Well, it is. It's not letting you kick the can further, though. Really, I'm not. I'm not saying. Oh, I'm not advocating I see. For that. I'm Making saying me do, do all the, the update. Work. Yeah, the do the updates, thing. but but also sign up for ESM because it can help protect you a little bit. Okay. All right. So do the scary thing, but also sign up for ESM to get yeah. uh, to get access to the live patching thing where. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying some kernels will just slip on in, and I won't need to reboot. But depending, yeah, some kernels. I guess if it's if it's larger changes, yeah, and it's not, it's not just kernels too, right? Because like some other services sometimes need to get restarted before they uh, take effect, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. You could it, like it'll the update will kick off some system D, you know, restart stuff in the background, but some things still stay running. Um, so you need to. You kind of do need to reboot in order to to get the full effect, if you will. Okay. You'll have okay. less reboots, though. So that's why I, I say that's that's a good thing. Okay. So what if I didn't upgrade to 2204, 2404, whatever? What, what mm -hmm. am, I, am I... Am I missing out on anything by staying on 2004? Is, is there some compelling reason... It depends on the application you're running, I think. Um, there could be things, the features that you're maybe wanting that you don't have. The one application that I'm worried about that isn't containerized is just running in, in, on, mm -hmm. on the system itself is Plex. Uh, okay. This machine has been chugging along, doing Plex for me for the past five years. Um, and it restarted whenever I updated and rebooted. That, that's pretty much it. So... Because I didn't so, containerize it, though, it's it's heavily yeah. dependent on the system under underneath, which means that this is, this is why it's scary. Because I don't yeah. want to have to roll back, and I don't want to have to rebuild. Right. So, um, what where is Plex coming from for you? The the is deb. It? It's it's from Plex. From the Plex repository, basically. Right, and it doesn't look like Plex has like a an Ubuntu twenty o four repository. They just have a where they throw the deb. Yeah. And it does indeed look like Plex is fully compatible with 2404, which, I mean, if it's compatible with 2004, obviously. 
2204 in the middle should be, and because it is compatible with 2404. Well, we were we're a year past uh, the the 2404 at this point too. So I like I like most of those things that that get you know heavily used. I would imagine have a 2404 version at this right. point. Right, and and I wasn't looking on looking to go straight to 2404. Um, just right off the bat, I was just hoping 20, 2204, see what happened. Um, yeah, uh, that's a good idea. Okay, well, all right. So I guess that's that's the other question is I, I have to dig in and figure out if Plex can take advantage of any of the new stack that's in 2204 or 2404. Yeah. Uh, okay. Honestly, for server stuff, you could probably just hang out on 2204 for a long time here and be just just happy for yeah. for for what you're doing with that machine. Um obviously your desktop that's a different story completely altogether. For sure. Um so that that's not even and and like it depending on the application that you're running too um on a server might depend on the need to move or desire to move. Right. Yeah, for as as far as desktop goes, I mean, I ride the lightning over here with uh yeah, with Bazite, that's the way so <laughs> yeah, I mean, just give me the new, give yeah, me the new. All the shiny, yep, just just bling. Okay, all right. So I'll have a I'll have a quick little update about what I decide, but I'm leaning toward hopping on ESM mm -hmm. and and just riding that into the sunset. You get five free, um, unless you're a member, and then you get fifty. Huh? And you're a member. Well, yeah contribute so to the project so i mean <laughs> yeah that, that that gets you membership and then that's like one of the perks is uh they they want you i mean obviously they want you dog fooding that stuff to yeah. test it and, and yeah you know hopefully contributing fixes uh so it makes sense i mean it's one of the member perks this was basically an ad for ubuntu esm so uh, uh, am i am that. i a member now I mean, eh? I'm not only a member of the hair club for men, I'm <laughs> also the president, apparently. <laughs> okay, so uh, so ESM, I'll, I'll I just want to see what it's like, honestly, and then um, I might I might take you up on that upgrade to 2204 advice uh, if uh, if it seems like in any way Plex might uh, benefit from having a, a better, newer, slicker stack underneath. It might. Uh, the the only last bit of advice I have for anyone ever considering doing updates like Here's that. Here's the good stuff. Here's the good stuff right here. Make sure you got a backup. Yeah. Do I have a backup? We'll find out. I mean, Clonezilla could be your friend. Or even Rescue Rescuezilla if you gotta get desperate. Right. right. You don't have a backup unless you test your backup. And have I tested my backups? Maybe. Yeah. Not. I I've been know. there. I know. I've, I've done <laughs> things and had them go wrong and then resorted to the backup. <laughs> yeah. You like looking at our face? I mean, I do. I mean, you can find it over on the YouTubes and, uh, you know, get the show too, of course. And, you know, ring the bell, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff because YouTube loves that. But um, that way you'll get notified when new episodes come out and the little short things, you know, we shorten up little segments of uh, of the episodes. So, you know, if you just want to get that one little thing, you can get that. The other place. You know, I got to yeah. gotta trim that out and then put that out separately because, you know, sometimes people don't have the attention span to listen to a whole hour of our ramblings. But, you know, that's fine. You can catch the little short bit. The other place you can catch the little short bits and still see our faces is over on Tilvids. Tilvids is edutainment, and that's where you catch all the history. So, you know, they're a great sponsor for us, so you can find us over there. It's a Fediverse thing, too, by the way. That's right. They can find us all over the Fediverse. Um, but, okay, are we going to put the Flatpak Snap investigation over there? Surely, I think it's right? science, so, I mean, we have to. It's science. It's for science. We got to know. We got to know. Are the bloat people right? Right. I have my doubts. Yeah. It might not be as bad as you think. We're going to find out. Anyway, if you really love us, because we love you, you can give us a buck or two over on Patreon. Join the community over there. You get some perks for your dollars. 
um you get the 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 worst of us fastest um you know because you can catch the <laughs> yeah. whole the whole blathering over there um when we post the raw session yeah i think i think i clocked us at about 45 minutes or so before we started With nothing yeah. almost yeah before we started talking about the ubuntu it was a good chunk so you can you can catch all the sausages how it's made over there on patreon when the episode gets released early you get early release episodes actually you know the cut one that that leo trims up and makes pretty yeah, the um, one the one everybody gets, but in like high quality too. So yeah, it, and yeah, so you can get the high quality audio as well. So if you want the really good stuff, you know, you can hear the full range of our voices. You get that as well. All kinds of perks. You can join our Discord in a in a special patron place as well. So lots of stuff, lots of perks, and interact with all the community. <laughs> 